Hello guys and welcome to my round 10 tips video. Last week I got 7 out of 9 tips, which was okay, there was a few upsets, not too bad. And I got 5 out of 9 on these calls, at one stage I had 4 out of 5, which was pretty good. Moving on to the tips, first match. Adelaide Oval, 7.50pm Friday. Should be a good match. Top four clash. Fourth versus second. Port Adelaide at home. Port Adelaide, both sides 7-2. Port Adelaide coming off six straight wins. Easy win over North down in Hobart last week. Melbourne, great first half against the Hawks. Then Hawks showed a bit of fight, but then they just... Run over them. Um, well, like they're both seven and two, which is pretty good starting the season. Uh, I'm gonna tip Port Adelaide in an upset by 15 with my oldest call that Jeremy Finlayson kicks two plus goals. Moving on to the Saturday games, Marvel Stadium 145 Saturday. Let's start with North Melbourne. Two and seven, sixteenth, coming off seven straight losses, and Alex Alistair Clarkson has stepped down. Brett Ryan only had a nine round break from coaching. Sydney three and six, three four even losses in a row, and they're sitting fourteenth. Not too good. But I can't see North Melbourne winning this game. I'm tipping Sydney by 61. My Ollie's call that North Melbourne have 60-plus clangers. Moving on to the third game. Western Bulldogs versus Adelaide at Mars Stadium, 2.10pm Saturday. Bulldogs, they've had a great couple of matches coming off, I think, four or five wins in a row, six and three. Um, good win over Carlton. Looks like they're going to lose, come back and won. Adelaide, massive smashing of St Kilda. St Kilda were terrible. Adelaide were brilliant. Coming at five and four, sitting in eighth, all right. Top eight clash. I'm tipping the Bulldogs, they rarely ever lose in Ballarat. With my Ollie's call, Jordan Dawson has 20-plus disposals. Moving on to the next game. 4.35, Optus Stadium, Saturday. Fremantle, Geelong. This is going to be an interesting game. But... While Fremantle, they're four and five, coming off two wins. Pretty good win over Sydney. Can't say it wasn't as in Sydney aren't great, but in Sydney. Geelong coming off a loss to Richmond. Surprise. Um, sitting five and four, seventh. I hope to so I can see Fremantle winning, but I'm tipping Geelong by 15. With my eyes cold that Tom Hawkins kicks two plus goals. Moving on at the Gabba, 7.25pm Saturday. Got Brisbane and Gold Coast. Brisbane, yeah, they're going pretty well. As in, you can't take much away from them. They've won quite a few in a row. So it's hard to say they're not doing well because they are. Um, seven and two, City and third at the Gabba home game. Oh, but obviously, Suns aren't too far away. Suns are four and five, coming off a win over West Coast. Pretty good win in Perth, but I, I'm going to tip Brisbane with my Ollie's call that Joe Danaher and Charlie Cameron combined for five-plus goals. Moving on to the dream time at the G, Sir Doug Nichols round. Um, Richmond, Essendon, Saturday, 7.40 p.m. MCG. Uh, Essendon, 
Coming off a few losses, they put up a fight against Brisbane for the first half. They were leading by 10. But then kind of everything fell apart. Like, yeah, it didn't. Brisbane just dominated, won by 42 points in the end. Richmond coming off two wins, one against West Coast, but they beat Geelong. That's a pretty big win. On Friday night, I'm going to tip Richmond by 13 with my Ollie's call that Tim Taranto records 100 plus fantasy points. Moving on to the Sunday game. Battle of the Wooden Spooners. Both teams coming off six and seven losses. Hawthorne play well at Utah's. And West Coast, yeah, they've had a few big defeats at home. Hawthorne played a well second half, but they're still not going great. They're one and eight. Like, Hawthorne sitting lower on the ladder. This will be a really close game. I'm not saying good quality, but good margin. I'm tipping. I'm going to tip the Hawks by eight. Seen a few people tip West Coast, but I'm going to back Hawthorne in at Utah's. And my Ollie's call that Will Day, who's been in good form, has 20 plus disposals. This is a massive game. Carlton Collingwood MCG, 3.20pm Sunday. They want 90, like 80,000 plus. I don't reckon they'll break 90 given it's a Carlton home game and they're not going very well. If it was Collingwood home game, they'll break 90. But Carlton, Knights, lost to the Bulldogs, four losses from five games. Things are starting to be derailed. Not looking amazing for Carlton. Collingwood 8 and 1 first, game clear on top. They're going great as in the 8 and 1. A couple of good wins at the G, they easily beat GWS. It's hard to see Carlton winning, but I can see it given there's been a bit of talk in the media. But I'm going to have to tip Collingwood by 17 with my Ollie's call that Nick and Josh Dacos combine for 35-plus disposals. Moving on to the final game. It's 4.40pm Sunday at Giant Stadium. Let's start with the Saints. Terrible game. Worst game all year by far. They played terribly. No, yeah, like just couldn't kick it, couldn't hit a target, missed a few easy chances, got outplayed massively. Six and three because they've had easy beats. Um, I'm predicting them to finish in the bottom six this year. They're sitting fifth, which looks good, but they're no, they're terrible. Ah, uh, the Giants, they're looking good. Few close losses, but to good teams. Good win over Sydney. Oh, they're they're really doing well. Tom Green, he's on fire. Toby, they should have Toby Green back. Yeah, I can't see them losing this game. I'm tipping GWS by nineteen, but that they'll kick in accurately. Like they should have won by seventy points. And my Ollie's call that Harry Himmelberg kicks two. Plus goals. Thanks for watching Ollie's on the Ball, and I hope you watch this video, enjoy it, and watch more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.